To be a good footballer, is it all about football skill? Partly it comes down to, um, obviously, your skill and your technique level and things, but it's also you've got to be motivated to want to do it. I mean, if you don't, if you don't want to be there, then you know you're not going to play well and things. And you've got to be dedicated to push yourself and stuff. I mean, only the best people they're dedicated. They're training every day and things. They've got to be there. But yeah, I mean, part of it is down to you. you you've got to have a, a decent coordination and you know quite quick and things like that and have an eye for the ball and stuff like that but it's not all about skill it's definitely more more to it how do you curl the ball well i think it's hitting it with the inside of your foot so that part not the laces so you don't strike through the ball you're um you're sort of curling it with the outside kicking across it that's part and also don't lean i wouldn't lean back when you shoot because when you lean back that means it will go up in the air so try and get your head over the ball just strike for it with the side part of your foot and curl it in the top corner. Um, why are England rubbish at penalties? <laughs> that is a good question. Um, <laughs> I think that's probably down to their uh, psychology. They've obviously uh, lost a couple of important shootouts in the past. And I know for this World Cup coming up that England have employed a psychologist. And he's obviously trying to... Um, get them out of that thought process that we are rubbish at penalties and we can actually win them. How do you deal with the pressure, like the walk from the halfway line to the penalty spot? What I like to do is I like to pick my spot and then that's, that's it. Once I've picked that, that's where I'm going and things. Mine's usually down the middle, to be fair. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. I shouldn't have probably broadcast that, but uh, I think the, I think the keeper's going to dive either side, so you've just got to stick it down the middle. It's a guaranteed goal. But, yeah, no, I'd say walking from the penalty spot, I mean, obviously the, the crowd cheers and things like that, or boos if you're playing away. But, yeah, generally you've got to try and block that out and um, just pick your spot and go for it. Do you have, like... A thing before you go up and take the penalty to like help you block out all the crowd. Um, I mean, I didn't, but last year I did uh, PE at, at A level, and that was that taught me all about things like thought blocking, which is where you block out the crowd and stuff. So, and things like um, imagery, where you just imagine it's just say you in your back garden. So therefore, all, all you do is you just, you just walk up to it, you're in your back garden, you just have a shot sort of thing, pretty much. So it's just all about blocking out them uh, them negative thoughts. Is what it's all about, yeah. Does the crowd sport change the way you play? Um, yeah, I think that motivates you. I think when, like, I much prefer playing at home as a player. I much prefer it. I don't really like playing away. I, I think because at home you're used to the settings and stuff. You know what it's all about, and the home the home support at Folkestone's great. So they're always cheering you on and stuff. I mean, and it doesn't like I'm liable to the odd miss here and there. <laughs> um, but you know, when I do that, they don't they don't moan or anything. They're they're really good. So yeah, I think. Playing at home, I much prefer. What's it like being a footballer? What's it like being a footballer? <laughs> well, <laughs> I just spent my first week up at Hull City, where I've just been signed. So, uh, I mean, that's pretty great. They're, they're training every day. It's, it's excellent being a professional. They're, the facilities are outstanding. I mean, I mean, in the last day of training, someone stood on my foot and I said I'd just run it off like you would at Folkestone, but I was in the physio room within 30 seconds with them <laughs> looking at my foot saying, does this hurt, does this hurt? I was like, no, it's fine, I'll just run it off. But now they look after you. I mean, you have breakfast at the training ground and stuff. You have lunch at the training ground. Like, you get your own gym programs and stuff to build up your upper body strength and things like that. So, yeah, I mean, being a professional, it's a different world. And I, I can't wait to get out there. But also saying that being a semi-pro at Folkestone's great. I mean, that's a that's a great level to play at if you can't make that top level. I mean, doing it part time is it's good at folks someone like folks, and plus you get paid, so uh, <laughs> it's also a bonus. Um, I'm a young footballer. Have you got any tips for me? Have I got any tips for you? I mean, I was I was never the best person in my um, when I was your age. I I played right back. I was just there to fill in, really. I was never the the best at all. So. I think if you just keep working hard on things and never let a training game or a match pass you by, I mean, you've got to use everything to your the full advantage and things, and then that way you'll keep improving and keep, like I did, I kept improving and things and then got into the folks and team last year and then it's sort of, you know, it's now playing for holes. I mean, it's pretty, but yeah, I'd say for me, it was all about being commitment. I, don't, I was never a big fan of missing training. Like, I hated to miss training. I got annoyed with people who always miss training. But I think you've got to be committed, dedicated, and uh, yeah, you just got to work hard, and it'll come. Yeah. What football team do you support? I'm a Charlton Athletic fan. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, they're not doing too great at the minute. <laughs> they might go down, but hopefully not. Fingers crossed for that one.
I'm a Middlesbrough fan. Middlesbrough, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long way away. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for That's coming okay. in. No problem, cheers.